Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And today's hot topic is all about autumn trends for 2022 and what we will be wearing. So let's just get straight into the video. First off, kicking things off is leather. Now you can't enter the autumn season without the staples, the leather trousers, the jackets, and the boots. So kicking things off is the leather trousers. They are here to stay, the wide leg, the straight, leg the jogger style worn correctly though are all approved depending on your body type or your height different options might suit you better than others but they are super versatile in terms of styling the three main colors are black brown and cream they're definitely going to give you that autumn staple look so they are definitely worth investing in in terms of styling leather trousers are easily dressed up or dressed down you can easily pair them for a daytime look with either a pair of trainers a hoodie and maybe a blazer or just a sweater jumper for a nighttime look you can style them up with a nice pair of heels and a corset top or a basic top will really dress up your outfit in terms of the leather jackets you can either opt for an oversized jacket or a leather blazer but leather jackets are definitely here to stay in terms of the cropped more fitted leather jackets I would say they're not really on trend but definitely the oversized ones you've got things to layer with and again they're definitely going to keep you warm if you are looking to purchase some leather pieces I will leave some links below with a variety of different price points just so you've got something to look at next up is color I know what you're thinking it sounds super strange because when you think of color you think of spring summer but this year we are not putting the color away in particular the pink I know pink in autumn winter does sound super super strange but it's what's here, it's what's on trend, and it's definitely here to stay. If pink isn't your colour, then don't worry. Green, just like last year, is super on trend and it isn't going anywhere. So if you did invest in those oversized green shirts for the summer, keep on to them because green knits, green bags are all approved for the autumn in 2022. But moving back onto the pink, I'm talking the pink pink coats, pink trousers, pink suits, they are all what's going to be on trend. It just sounds super odd, I know, but in one way I kind of understand it because you've got like the dark colours, you know, the blacks, the more moody colours and I suppose people can associate them with more of a mood change and more of a, a darker time so if it brings you some happiness to wear your brighter pink colors or your neons or anything in the autumn then i think definitely go for it for me personally i don't think you will be catching me in a pink outfit in the autumn months okay so moving on is oversized bombers these have been around for years they kind of dipped out but they are back in they look super effortless put together and it's definitely going to keep you warm because once we're out of autumn we're in the depths of winter and practicality is what we need i know we still want to look cute but we need to be keeping warm as the temperature and the weather definitely drops there are so many ways to style these depending on the color that you go for even if you're layering it's definitely more of a street style aesthetic though but you can still incorporate it into your wardrobe even if that's not your vibe and again i will link some options in the description box just for you to have a look at another key piece that is definitely on trend is the knee high socks and of course Hailey bieber said knee high socks are in so there is no questions to be asked they are in you know the outfit it's been all over social media with the different people recreating it you know exactly what outfit i'm talking about we can still wear it for autumn and i think it's super gorgeous and i'm here for it it's given a bit edgy but still sexy at the same time it definitely looks put together and it's super super chic obviously we can't wear this type of outfit every day or for every occasion but the knee-high socks are still in fashion and i think you can still incorporate them in either a more modest or even corporate way you don't have to necessarily have your legs out to have them fully on show to incorporate them into your wardrobe in my personal opinion i do think they are replacing you know the more branded types you know the fendi the gucci balenciaga ones and we're going to be opting for the knee-high socks instead or obviously again the ankle ones but i definitely think that we are saying goodbye to the branded tights and we are saying hello to the more 
knee high and ankle socks instead okay so moving on is the Birkenstock Boston's now I know this is a love of a hatred the Birkenstock Boston's Oh, they're here and they are not going anywhere. I know comfort is key and I have heard these are super comfy but can you make them fashionable and I think yes. Styled the right way personally I think these are the more relaxed feel and more casual. The city look is what these are giving me. I think personally these are just a bit of a different option instead of opting for trainers all the time they definitely give you that more dad aesthetic. They kind of lean to are they cool or not? and it's definitely having you thinking about them which is what they want they want people to be talking about them they want people to be asking questions they are marmite you either love them or you hate them but you're definitely talking about them regardless i would say for styling a lot of people have been pairing these with jeans and a t-shirt for that more chilled relaxed feel i definitely think the more cropped jeans with the socks on show maybe opting for a bit of color maybe if you're not on board with the whole bright colors then opting for a more colorful socks paired with these birkin socks is your little way of incorporating colour into your autumn wardrobe for 2022 but they are definitely that city cool edgy aesthetic look so I do think they are definitely worth a try even if you do really hate them I suppose you can't really knock them until you've tried them I'll try and leave some links in the description box below but I know these do sell out super super quick again I'll either try and find some alternatives or the exact one okay this should come as no surprise as what is trending for the autumn in 2022 is cargo pants you guessed it you know it these were everywhere in the spring summer and it's safe to say they are not going anywhere for autumn they are super on trend so easily styled paired with some trainers a jumper they just give you that cool relaxed feel they are so comfy these are on trend they are not going anywhere all the colors you can probably incorporate more of a black pair instead of your creams your neutrals and beiges like we did back in spring summer we're definitely bringing more of the darker colors again the khaki color was super on trend and we can definitely take that into the autumn again so easily dressed up as well all you need is your pair of heels and a nice basic top and you've got something for a more of an evening look but cargoes 100 not going anywhere these can be so affordable and so accessible most high street and online retailers are definitely stuck in some form of cargo pants so you're more than likely to find a pair that fits and suits you again i will leave some of my all-time favorites in the description box for you to have a look at these are definitely definitely worth investing in Okay, so the ballet pumps are having a moment and I hear some people are pressed about it. I know, I know, I understand this is giving high school, primary school, shopping at Clark's if you were bougie like that. But we need to realise that they are here and the big guns say they're on trend. So they're on trend. Ways to style them, I personally think they are best for more of the elegant, the more preppy type of people. I think they're more of a feminine shoe and that is the best way to style them but it doesn't mean that the streetwear queens can't hop on this trend too. A straight leg jean and a basic t-shirt for more of a relaxed style could also work but I do think that they pair well with more of a girly, more skirts and dresses, more tights and headbands. If you know, you know but these are definitely giving me feminine girly ditzy vibes but i am dying to know are you team ballet pump or not let me know in the comments below because this is the talk of the season ballet pumps or not ballet pump okay guys if you did make it to the end of the video thank you so much if you did enjoy don't forget to like and subscribe and i will definitely see you in my next one Bye bye